I get asked a lot about paper. What is the best paper to use? What is the best weight of paper? And is there a right or a wrong side for colour pencil work? The answers to most of these questions are in a paper on paper that you can download from the members area in my website for free. Um, you just need to sign up and this will entitle you to my regular newsletter plus um, you can download tips and tricks and you can also download these um, blank colour swatches for all the different makes of colour pencils that I use in my work, which may be helpful or not. <laughs> Whatever paper you choose, the surface of the paper is really important. You're going to be working with this paper for a long time. And if the surface of the paper starts to give way at any point or tear, or if you have to fight with the paper to lay down sufficient depth of colour or graphite, um, it's not going to be a pleasant experience. So in this short video today, I want to show you some of the simple tests that I do to determine if the paper that you are using is going to be good enough for the task ahead. These only take a few minutes and the first one is a pressure test. In this test, I'm going to apply some colour to the paper um, using the edge of the paper or a spare piece of the same paper, but just keep going over the same piece of paper over and over and over again. I'm using a very sharp pencil, about 45 degrees to the surface of the paper so that the colour goes into the um, grain of the paper and you can see that I'm creating a lot of dust here. I'm just going to brush that off. Um, but the surface of the paper is remaining firm. And I can see that that is going to be a good, trustworthy piece of paper. Now, paper varies according to the different makes, but also to how you store it. And this is an old block of Fabriano Classic 05. Um, so it's the same make of paper as this one. But I've obviously stored it badly over the last 20 years because when I discovered it recently in a drawer and thought, oh, yippee, as <laughs> makes extra Fabriano, um, I discovered that um, actually it doesn't perform very well in these tests at all. And as I start to... Can you see now that the surface of the paper, it's already lifting off? Can you see? And it's just torn and that paper will not be any good at all for anything other than just testing out some colour mixes. Um, it's a shame, but that just goes to show you the variables that there are in paper storage. Now this is a paper um, that's recently come onto the market. Um, strangely named Botanical Ultra Smooth, um, meant to sort of emulate the Fabriano 5 um, Classico, which is white, uh, hot pressed, 300 grams. So we've just tried this out, that works very well. Um, but unfortunately, um, the quality of Fabriano has now uh, deteriorated and, and is inconsistent. So we have to try out different papers. Um, this one, the Botanical Ultra Smooth, looks good, colour matches, it's fine, but when you do the pressure test to this, again the paper is now tearing and can you see it's given way and that's no good at all. So it's worth doing this quick pressure test to any piece of paper that you're using. Just use a colour that you don't use very often, don't need. Um, this is a blue, um, but just do it repeatedly. And on a good quality paper, you should be able to do that till the cows come home and the paper will not tear. Um, another test that I do quite often is a personal test because um, it doesn't matter how robust the paper is, if the surface of the paper is not to your liking, then um, it's not the paper for you. So I try out with graphite first because graphite is my great love and I do just some a line test and then I do some elliptical shading and just to see how 
easy it is for me to lay down a smooth gradation from dark to light and also how dark whoops how dark the graphite will go now this um, paper is slightly um, skaty so it's got maybe a bit too much size in um, so although it's robust it's not going to be wonderful now here is a, a similar piece of paper a different batch of Fabriano and I've, I've already tried this but I know that this is really lovely for graphite so it gives me a different feel so it's the same make these are all old batches so they're all good quality um, and this one feels much better, much nicer, a nice crisp bite onto the surface of the paper. But this is a personal test because it really depends on the weight of the pressure that you apply to the colour as you lay it down. Um, so I do the same thing with the coloured pencil, so a nice line, see how the line takes and then some elliptical shading to see how the colour goes down. And the colour goes down smoothly and this is fine for coloured work. So I would keep this paper for coloured pencil and maybe use the other for graphite. It's also important what you rest on as well, so it's a good idea to put another piece of paper underneath your paper, even though these are thick pieces of paper, um, because the surface can also um, make a difference. Now, other pieces of equipment that we use, um, sticky back plastic. So if you're going to be using sticky back plastic, we use this to correct, so you can lift off colour um, in areas, or you can lift off lines of colour like this, um, you need to test that out. So clearly that works on this paper. Let's try it on the Botanical Ultra Smooth. Um, I'll do the same thing on here. Press, And you can see here, the if I put it here, can you see? The paper has lifted off. So this is absolutely no good at all. And if I do a line test, it's absolutely, it's torn the surface of the paper off. So Botanical Ultra Smooth is not good for using either colour pencil or sticky back plastic. Um, other equipment that you might be using is um, masking fluid. So that's the Pebbia one. This is a, a Molotow um, pen with um, masking fluid in. So I know it works on here. This is the um, Botanical Ultra Smooth, so I put some on here before. And this is dry now, and I've only just put it on, so I'm going to just try and take it off. And where I've applied just a small amount, it's okay, but here, let me just clear away the debris, here, the surface of the paper has deteriorated. So again, this is not a good paper for using masking fluid on. So back to my good paper. Other things that you might want to try are the embossing tools that we use. So you need to make sure that they don't tear the paper and uh, erasers. So these are simple tests that you can do before you start work. They don't take long, but it really does pay off. It saves you wasting a lot of time in the future and a lot of heartache. Enjoy your colour pencil work. Thank you for joining me.